fact, like even I had a patient that went and she was buying a new house and she even told me that the inspector had actually found visible mold and told her that she could just take a wet wipe and wipe it off. That is the level of misinformation. That really got my blood boiling to a point that I that actually affected my sleep that night. I was so angry over that. That's, you know, that's like what we're being told, right? Is that it's not that big of a deal and it's not as big of a deal as lead-based pain and it's nothing to take seriously. And so many times people go online and they look for like, certified inspectors. Well, certification doesn't mean that people know that these inspectors know truly the significance of how to find mold, of what biotoxin and mold illness actually does, of the levels that are actually problematic. It's like an entry level. Do they know how to do a certain portion of their job? But you really need somebody that is a high level specialist in mold inspection and a high level, you know, remediator. And it's the hardest conversation to have with people, I think, because to tell people that are sick, that are having the struggle you're talking about around, like you speak and it's Groundhog Day, you say the same thing over and over again. And then to have the conversation with them to say like, well, now you need to inspect your house and possibly spend tens of thousand dollars in remediation or moving. Like it's a crazy thing to wrap the brain around, but it's one of these things. We either, it's like, so at, at the core of it, the hardest thing to say and hear oftentimes is it's literally do this hard thing or continue to live in this horrible way. And that's the, that bad choice we have to make.